Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Lab and Institute. Today I am going to discuss about IO triggering. IO triggering is very important for laptop preparing and SIO is one of the most important parts of laptop and SIO is called system input output and today I will discuss about IO triggering for IO triggering first there is a voltage plus 3 volt LDU will enter into IO chip naming VCC and this voltage also go to other part by naming ABCC and for these two voltages there will be two grounds first ground is GND another ground is AGND AGND for ABCC and GND for BCC and there will be another voltage will enter into IO chip naming plus 3 volt LDU and this voltage will enter into IO chip by pull up resistor and we can see there is other function that is lead switch or hall switch this is very important also and this switch is worked by plus 3 volt LDU and this switch creates signal naming lead switch hash and it will enter into IO chip and another important thing is there is other circuit is here that is called also thermal protection circuit that is very important and this circuit is worked by plus 3 volt LDU and there is used voltage divider and this sector is very important because if this sector is bad the IO trigger will not be success so for being successful IO triggering this thermal protection section or circuit is very important and we can see there is a crystal is here and crystal also is very important because crystal creates frequency and it goes to IO and after having frequency IO creates uh, voltages and other signals so when IO gets lead switch and after having frequency IO outputs a signal naming lead switch out hash and there is any there is other function that is very important and the function of on off switch and as you know that in on off switch there is a voltage plus 3 volt LDU and plus 3 volt LDU goes to on off switch by a pull up resistor and when on off switch is pressed there is a signal name power button hash or NBS on hash will enter into IO chip and then IO will create another output that is DNBS on hash 
and it will go to ICH or PCH and then and after that IO will communicate with BIOS and communication with BIOS is very important because after communication I will give its final voltage and we can see that after communication with BIOS I O will create RSM RST RSM RST is final voltage it is very important when we will see that RSM RST is found in IO chip then we can say that IO chip is good and now I will show you that how these voltages and signals are entered into IO chip by steps first plus 3 volt LDU will enter into IO chip and then ABCC and there will be also two grounds here and another step is there will be plus 3 volt LDU by pull up register and then the work of lead switch or hall switch and there will be a signal as lead switch hash and then there will be plus 3 volt LDU will enter into IO chip by naming thermal protection circuit and next step will be the frequency of crystal into IO chip and the edge steps is lead switch out hash and the ninth is the work of on off switch and its signal and a tenth step is DNBS on which will enter into ICH or PCH and eleventh step is communication with BIOS and then the last one or twelfth step is RSM RST that is very important and the last step of the IO triggering so this is the IO triggering stage and this stage is very important for everyone who is interested for laptop repairing so thank you very much for watching this video and I am requesting all of you to subscribe and like and share